welcome to Sacred Heart and to this Mass. We welcome any visitors we may have today. We are going to begin our celebration by singing together number 475, 475, Christians, let us love one another, verses 1, 2, and 3. Please stand. Christians, let us love one another as we share the true living bread. Jesus is our God and our brother. With his flesh and blood we are fed. Everyone who loves is born. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. We welcome you to this time of prayer at Mass. We place ourselves in the presence of God to ask for mercy. Tu que eres nuestro buen pastor resucitado, you who are our good shepherd, risen from the dead, Lord, have mercy. Tu que nos das la vida en abundancia, you who give us life in abundance, Christ, have mercy. Tu nos congregas en un solo rebaño, you who gather us into one fold, Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and one day bring us into a life that is everlasting. Oremos, let us pray. Dios nuestro, que asociaste a San Matía, Matías al Colegio de los Apóstoles, concédenos por su intercesión que teniendo la dicha de ser amados por ti, merezcamos ser contados entre tus elegidos. O oh God, who assign Saint Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession today the rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we might merit to be numbered among your elect. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated. (laughs) 
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, my brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let this encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it. And may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us, accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord, the Lord will give, give him, him a seat, seat with, with the leaders, leaders of, his, of people. his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun, in the name of the Lord to be pra- is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above the nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john jesus said to his disciples as the father loves me so also i love you remain in my love 
If you keep my commandments, you'll remain in my love, just as I have kept the Father's commandments and remain in his love. I've told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this than to lay down one's life for one's friend. You're my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. No, I have called you friends because I've told you everything that I've heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he will give to you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. I kind of feel sorry for Matthias because it's rather a dubious honor to take the place of an apostle who betrayed Jesus and then because of that committed suicide. But in the Acts of the Apostles that we just heard proclaimed, it was obviously causing pain to the community as suicide always does, and we know that. But the reason behind this suicide is just as painful, especially for St. Peter, who knew well how painful betraying the Lord was since he did it himself three times, but unlike Judas, he repented. And so they go to the prayer book of the day, the Psalms, to seek divine guidance in the decision they're about to make. Thus Matthias, as we heard, a name meaning gift from the Lord, becomes the twelfth apostle, and Judas is left to God's mercy. But if we are listening today, it's also about the main apostle, St. Peter, as he truly begins to embrace his ministry, as difficult as it was in that particular moment. His ministry description comes from Matthew and Luke and John. In paraphrase, it reads something like this. Peter, I'm going to build my church upon you, I need you to be its rock. And know that I'm with you, and hell will never win. You have the power to bind and to loose, to forbid and permit. But Peter, just because hell won't win, doesn't mean hell won't sift you like wheat. But you know I'm praying for you. And when you win the battle, strengthen others to win the battle as well. Show them how to stand up in faith. And finally, Peter, I want you to love me by loving those who are precious to me, my lambs and my sheep. Tend them and feed them. Church, Peter still fulfills his ministry to this day, tasked with healing scandal, with binding and loosing, with strengthening and tending the flock that God loves. And he does this in many ways. He does this through Pope Francis. Bishop of Rome and Vicar of Christ. He does this through Bishop Lewis in the apostolic succession and those in obedience to him, his priest. He does this through all the baptized. Yes, all different in nature, but all important as the church universal and Christ's body upon the earth. Each, by nature of our vocation, had the power in our hands to bind and to loose, to forgive or not to forgive to love or not to love. And when we choose what is noble and virtuous, then we can strengthen one another to more faithfully live out our baptismal call together. When we are faithful to prayer in our lives, we will not be defeated by Satan, but I can promise you, we're gonna be tested every single day, several times a day. Friends, we renounce Satan at our baptism. We renew our baptismal promises, and every time we are putting our fingers in holy water or blessing ourselves with that same water, we renounce him. And finally, we're about tending and feeding the lambs and the sheep who are in our charge. Yes, those in our charge right where we are. Whether for the Pope, it is your bishops, or for the bishops, your priest, or your religious, or your spouse, or your children. These are those whom God loves. And being faithful to the Lord's commands, we live in his love. And that love stands firm 
as Peter and Matthias and generations have shown us. Now it is our turn, church, to be holy, to remain faithful, to heal, to forgive, and over all, to love one another. Just love one another. Let this house of prayer resound with our supplications on behalf of all those who are in need this day. For the church, that we may find ways to both preach the word and serve our neighbor, especially during this time of separation and crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For elected leaders, that they may serve with wisdom, compassion, and humility, and all the people in their care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are on the front lines of this COVID-19 pandemic, especially our healthcare workers and first responders, for all who are unable to stay at home but must work to provide for their families, may God continue to protect them and keep them in good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us gather in our homes or wherever we are, watching this Mass, that we may find comfort in the Lord when our hearts are troubled and extend that comfort to others whose hearts are also troubled. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick, may the risen Christ visit them with healing power and new hope. For all who have died, may they live forever with Christ in the glory of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, all our intentions spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all, you sent your only son to a sinful people and shows us the way back to you. Help us always to keep his way firmly in our sights as you make these prayers in his name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray that our sacrifice and prayer be acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his troubled church. Accepta, Señor, los dones que tu iglesia te presenta con devoción en la festividad de San Matías, y por ellos fortalecenos con el poder de tu gracia. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented on this feast of St. Matthias, and through them, strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us together give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, 
but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed as shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, King and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. I call you therefore these gifts we pray by sending your spirit down upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread on the table and he gave you thanks and praise. He broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Del mismo modo, acabada la cena, como el cali lleno de vino, y dando las gracias de nuevo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen y beben todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, en la nueva eterna que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hacer esto en conmemoración mía. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence this morning to minister to you. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y todos los y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro Obispo Luis, y todos los pastores que cuiden de tu pueblo, llévala a su perfección por la caridad. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially those for whom we now pray. Remember in a special way during this Mother's Day novena, our deceased mothers and grandmothers. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, the Glorious Martyrs, St. Matthias, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be as with them to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Let's pray that God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously granting peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be freed from sin Safe from all distress, as you wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. During this time, we pray for a special peace that for those who are suffering from the coronavirus or for those who have died from it, seeking the intercession of Mary, who is health of the sick and mother of those in death's agony, as together we pray for her intercession. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please pray with me. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, bless your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we, all to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Yo sé que en este momento hay personas que no pueden recibir la Eucaristía sacramentalmente y entonces quiero invitarles a rezar en una voz alta, una voz alta uh, oración de comunión espiritual con su familia. In this moment, for those who cannot receive the Eucharist sacramentally, I'd invite you to pray that prayer of a spiritual communion to invite the Lord to your hearts and souls with your family right now.
que voy a pedir a Dr. Sánchez, por favor, traducir, que yo voy a decir. Um, just be aware that uh, the staff meets this morning about phase one of gathering again as the church uh, to begin the weekend of the 23rd and 24th. So we'll be meeting with that this morning. Uh, and then also, uh, the priests of the Northern Deanery have a meeting with the bishop this Saturday at noon, uh, and we'll be, as priests and as parishes in the Northern Deanery, uh, deciding what it is we want to do in terms of uniformity about this. Uh, just be aware, again, if you see the church, you can see the blue lines are appearing and so on. It's going to be a very different uh, sort of service uh, in terms of the changes and, and making sure people are safe right now. Uh, hopefully one day we'll get back to some normal. Uh, but again, for right now, it'll be just a little bit different, okay? Uh, also, for those, if any of the elder community are watching, I'd just like to kind of get your feedback to know whether or not you would want a mass dedicated for those 65 and over, which would probably be a Saturday evening mass, uh, which we would restrict it just for those people who qualify for that, uh, so you, you would feel safer. So again, if you're watching or if you know someone who's elderly in the community, kind of get in touch with them, call Patty or myself at the office, and let's see what we can do about making sure that the vulnerable population can also worship. Again, there's no obligation uh, for you to worship. It's been dispensed by the bishop, but if you want to and you feel safe enough, We'd like to make it even safer if we could, okay? Comenzaremos la nueva fase de, de esta epidemia el 23 y el 24, en el cual podremos pod volver a la iglesia, pero de una forma un poco más reservada y siguiendo las normas que le vamos a, a, a enviar a ustedes y también a anunciar desde aquí. Entonces el obispo se va a reunir estas, este, este sábado con los sacerdotes de aquí, de esta parte de la diócesis, para hablar más con los de, sobre los detalles de todo este, eh, este desenlace que estamos teniendo. Eh, le pedimos también que nos digan pues, a aquellas personas que necesitan ayuda, pues, que nos lo digan, que se pongan en contacto con nosotros y también si alguno de ustedes tiene algún correo que no nos hayan dado, algún correo electrónico, por favor, pueden enviárnoslo para que podamos ponernos en contacto con ustedes. Les agradecemos que estén aquí y recuerden que tenemos la Santa Misa el domingo a las once y media de la mañana. Gracias. Oremos, let us pray. Señor, tú que das con abundancia a tu familia estos dones celestiales por la intercesión de San Matías, Dignate de recibirnos en la claridad de tu luz para que tengamos parte con los santos. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts and through Blessed Matthias' intercession for us today, graciously admit, to, uh, admit us to a share in the lot of the saints and the light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For in the peace of Christ, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Y'all have a great day. Tengo un buen día. As we are sent, Let us sing together number 475, verses 4, 5, and 6. Christians, let us love one another. On the path of life we may falter, early for the Lord leaves us weak. Always you
Jesus is divine with the branches. We are grains of wheat, Christ the bread. Those who eat 